If I had 30 days to learn c -sharp web development, I'd break it down into three core building blocks, 10 days each, and I'm going to show you exactly how in this video. I'm Alian, I've been coding for over three years, and this is the roadmap I'd follow if I were starting from zero. I'd start by focusing purely on the c -sharp language for the first 10 days. I'd install a code editor like Visual Studio and start coding immediately. The key here is to not overthink it. Just dive in and get your hands dirty. Now, c -sharp as a language is pretty wide. It has tons of features and tools, but for the first 10 days, I'd keep it simple. I'd focus only on the basics, the syntax, how to use variables, and how to write basic logic. You're not just learning c -sharp, you're learning how to think like a programmer. You'll start understanding how to tell the computer what to do, how to print things to the screen, and how to control the flow of your code. And honestly, the best way to learn all this is by making mistakes. You'll mess up your syntax, you'll write something that crashes, and that's the point. You'll learn to read error messages, figure out what went wrong, and get into the rhythm of writing and fixing your own code. Now, for the last four or five days of this first block, I'd start easing into object-oriented programming. It's one of the most important parts of C-sharp, and even if it feels a little abstract at first, it will clarify a lot of things. You don't need to master it right now, but you should understand how C-sharp is built around classes and objects, and how those objects interact with one another. I'd focus on concepts like classes, methods, inheritance, and polymorphism, just enough to get a solid base. That way, when you get to web development later, all of this will start to click into place a lot faster. For the next 10 days, I'd shift gears and dedicate this phase to some front-end development. Now, even if you're planning to be more back-end focused, this part is still super important, because the front-end is the visual side of your application. It's what users actually see and interact with. And if you're building something, chances are you'll need to test it visually, meaning you'll need a front-end. And to be honest, I don't know a single developer who can build at least a basic web page. It's just part of the toolkit. So here's how I'd break it down. Front-end development is made up of three main building blocks, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is a markup language that defines the structure of your page, where the text goes, what's a heading, what's a button, and so on. CSS takes that structure and makes it look good. It's all about colors, spacing, fonts, layout, and then JavaScript brings it to life. It lets you add behavior like button clicks, animations, and other dynamic stuff. Now, I'd spend three days on HTML, followed by three on CSS. And my advice here, just build. Build as many small pages as you can. Even if they're super simple, like a landing page with text and images, it's all valuable practice. You'll be surprised how far you can go with just the basics in both HTML and CSS. Then I'd use the next four days for JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is a fully featured programming language. You can even build full stack apps with it alone. But for this stage, you don't need to go deep. Just focus on the fundamentals, how JavaScript works, how to include it in your page using script tags, and how to interact with elements on the page, like making a button do something when it's clicked. Even if you never specialize in front-end or JavaScript, it's still incredibly useful, because you'll often need to integrate external libraries or work with front-end components, and having a basic feel for how JavaScript works will make your life way easier. We've covered a lot so far, and if you feel that direct support and guidance would help you, you can get it inside the .NET Squad community, from both me and other developers just like you. This is a place you can turn to whenever you're stuck or have any questions about your code. I truly believe it will help you progress further, faster, and if you join today, you can try it totally free for one week. I highly recommend it. Now let's get back to the video. For the final 10 days of this 30-day mission, I'd focus on learning the web framework that lets you actually build web applications with c -sharp, and that's ASP.NET Core. Now, ASP.NET Core has a few different options built into it, like Blazor, Razor Pages, MVC, but for this phase, we're keeping it simple and focused. So I'd go with ASP.NET Core MVC. It's the cleanest starting point, and it's still one of the most widely used ways to build c -sharp web apps today. Here's the thing. In these 10 days, you're not trying to build a complete full-stack application. That's too much too soon. 
In fact, I'd actually skip the database integration at this stage. Because what really matters right now is understanding how the app is structured, how logic flows through the application, and how user requests are received and processed. This phase is all about getting a feel for how a C-sharp web app works in the real world, without drowning in the technicalities of things like database setup, migrations, and so on. And realistically, you are still early in your journey. You're probably going to jump back and forth between C-sharp and front-end concepts as you go through this. That's totally normal, so don't add extra complexity that will just slow you down. What I would focus on is building a small ASP.NET Core MVC application, something simple. Maybe a few pages that users can navigate between, and a bit of logic in the back-end that affects what the user sees on the front-end. That's enough to give you a solid understanding of how all the moving parts come together, without burning out or feeling overwhelmed. These 10 days are about getting familiar with a framework, building some muscle memory, and making that final leap from I'm learning to code to I'm building something real. This was the first 30-day focused approach I'd recommend to become a C-sharp web developer. If you want a more in-depth explanation of ASP.NET Core MVC that we just talked about, the video on the screen will guide you through everything you need to know. So click on it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you there.